My name is Sayed, and um, the type of work that I do, I use any material from stickers, paint, to installations for galleries and museums, to public art, to uh, anything goes and everything is a medium. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My friend Jen, she's camera shy. They're in such a perfect age. They're in that threshold between childhood and adulthood. So, in a sense, this project, I was looking at it as a rites of passage. They're self-portraits, so you're finding, you know, yourself in these pitch, in these pho photographs. I think it was a lot about looking at what's inside of ourselves. Seeing how you see yourself and how you look inside yourself and how other people perceive you. But the most important part to me was doing a big art project with a real artist and learning how that works. I was also interested in like taking them through the entire history, starting from a pinhole camera photography and coming all the way to like digital photography. I mean, just conceptually, that was funny. So you put it down and you just make one puncture. And, and then you... He gave us like this really stiff, like black kind of cardboard thing and we just like cut like a square of tin foil and like stuck it inside the box and took like a really tiny pin and poked a like really teeny hole. The um, film was actually like kind of like a rubber band onto it. Pinhole was a great way to introduce elements in photography because you had to really know how long to expose a certain amount of film. The process of taking pictures was very interesting but we didn't know about the result. How did you want it? How did you want it? Yeah, like, you know, when you're working with a pinhole, you can't focus anything and you can't, I mean, you don't even know if you're shooting somebody's feet or their head. You just really don't know anything. It's the fact that since it wasn't such a sophisticated thing, it loosened up, it loosened them up more to be just more playful. Yeah. Looking at the curtain? So Katie went to start. Okay. Katie, you're ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. The photo shoot in the theater was to get different colored lights. Light. I learned about dramatic light, lighting and how that changed moods. <laughs> if you wanted a blue light, it would be kind of a, a sad emotion. Taking picture with slides on our faces was um, also one of our projects. We were trying to find our images, our self creations in these two objects together. And this one doesn't have any yet. Ooh, cool. Wow. <laughs> That's sweet. That's good. Okay. I think Syed had us do that to open up the doors of experimentation to show that okay, we could start doing whatever we wanted to do. And do you want the background to be focused or out of focus? I think it looks blue. Oh my god! Yeah, that's scary. But I really don't want to see your mouth. So it was just basically places which would inspire uh, ideas and just taking pictures and based on some of the parameter that I had set up. The first one was over in the Marin Headlands and it was at a fort, at an old military fort. So it was a good opportunity to go out and dress up and act out your feelings. The inspiration just came when I saw the area and what I brought, like what costume I brought for that day. Um, Say had said that to, to try to tell a story with each picture. I thought that was a really interesting idea. Have a conversation with the guy. <laughs> Things that I wanted to bring, like especially costumes. I love to work with costumes. I just like out of a movie or something. And I didn't really come there with um, ideas of what to do, just how to work it. We went to a couple different locations. We went to a, a military cemetery. Being <laughs> a costume already gives you character visually. And I think it also makes you feel more like a character. Actually, we just randomly like grabbed whoever we could, you know, to help us take pictures. Because you just told them, "Do this for me, real quick," you know. You use them as their as your own little director for five minutes, and then you do it for them. 
And you learn so much from working with people, more than just being by yourself. And that's how I learn. Like, you get to know people better, and you get to know yourself better. As a class, we'd sit down uh, when we got the pictures back and um, like look at look on like look at the slides of them like really big. What kind of mood does it give you? What what kind of a time or what story or? The background is like very nice to me. You know, it's like a it's a happy background. Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. it was just more observing because every he said the one thing I liked was he said that there's no bad picture. So we, I think we, we worked like six sessions in, in, on the computer. A few of them had knowledge of Photoshop, but again, I think majority didn't really, I mean, they knew about the program Photoshop, but they hadn't really worked on it. Well, yeah, yeah, can do that. Uh, working on the computers was a new experience for me. I thought it was really fun. Sayed and Andrea, like, taught us a lot, just with like simple tools. But it was actually really fun, like Photoshop, like I never worked with Photoshop before. And it was cool just like how to, like, you know, distort or like enhance images. I, I took the two jumping ones and my champion picture. Now I'm dealing with the lighting effect on me. Uh, no time for losers. I like it, I like it. I'm just trying to see what else we can do to it. I definitely like it. Because there's, it, there's some of the magic in there, you know, like how people swallow alcohol and then they spit out fire. It could be good if you just take away the arm and leave the double image face. Mm -hmm. How about the scale? So the face would be the same size as the one in the back? Yeah. That's good too. That's good too. Because the arm is in line with the face. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you all for coming, and um, it's great work. Great work. Yeah. I had told us to plan something. You know, to start out with an idea, and. That's nothing from my original idea, but it fit. Just I took two pictures and overlaid them. And uh -huh. Syed went, you're done. <laughs> so, I like all of them together, because I've been looking at all the, the pictures separately as we've all been working on them. I like the way they look set up to, next to each other. Yeah. I think it's really good. It came out a lot better than I thought it might. I and mean, I wasn't really sure how it was, how it was gonna come out in the first place. I like the way it turned out. It, if it was at night and lit from the back, it would be really cool. The feelings that came out of my pictures were feelings about myself, looking for something. You feel lonely and, and you don't know how to like bring out those feelings. But sometimes they come out in your artwork. I think that I've been through many different situations where I don't really want to grow up and I just wanted to escape back to childhood and to innocence. Work that I've done has never been up like really huge like in a public place so you know that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about that. Uh, it feels really good to have my artwork up in the public area and <laughs> get other people to see it. It's nice to work on something and then have it be in a place that you know a lot of people are going to see it. And I think that goes along with doing what I would call, you know, real artist work. Creating those self portraits it's good to change myself uh, as an artist. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know what I feel like. <laughs> Eating the pen? <laughs> okay, let's go. It helps me more to believe in myself, like in my artwork, to think that you know, the MoMA would exhibit something in mine. <laughs> this project has definitely um, brought me closer to what I want to pursue. I see it as like my first big um, opening, my first big show, really. <laughs> right now, I'm just kind of figuring myself out and then seeing what I can contribute to the world. <laughs> oh, yay, honor. 
but I think this helped me see that fun place in the distance that can be reached when I'm ready. I think it's really, really exciting to have this chance to do something, you know, at my age and to have the opportunity to be around people who are open to you and who appreciate, you know, what you produce and what you create. And I think this project is great. It's wonderful. And it really helped me realize more about myself. I like seeing that.